today we're going to go over cutting your own bangs because we're in quarantine. I don't generally uh, recommend doing your own bangs at home, but since the quarantine has been going on for a really long time, I wanted some of my guests to have a reference for it. So the three things that I want you to remember before you cut your own bangs is one, you're not angry with your bangs. You just don't want to cut your hair angry. A couple years ago, my friend came to visit and I was frustrated, so I decided that I would cut Katie Perry's bangs. And at the time, it was uh, in style and it looked terrible. So rule number one, make sure you're doing this when you're not frustrated. Number two, make sure that you take the correct sections. I'll go into the sectioning later. Rule number three, because you are cutting your bangs at home, I want you to use the flat iron and do it on dry hair. It flat iron the hair. Now the reason why I suggest flat ironing the hair as opposed to having it wet is when your hair is wet, it tends to like um, bounce up and then you're not exactly sure how long it is. So it's best to just flat iron, get all the kinks out. You are, when you're, section, when you're sectioning the hair for your bangs, want to make sure that you go halfway through like your your eyebrow right there and halfway through your eyebrow there. okay now I am going to I am going to teach you a little trick here. I'm going to take half of this section and I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm going to clip that away. And the reason that I do that is because you want, just in case you might cut these bangs too short, you can sometimes save it and fake it with the next hair that you lay on top of it. So I'm going to take this section of hair and I'm going to just twist it once. And I'm taking the hair to about the bridge of the nose, right about here, and I'm going to just start cutting in. Okay, and then let it go. And as you can see, they're still pretty long. And I did that on purpose because you don't you don't have to go super short. Now, if you want to go shorter than this, you can. So just do the whole thing like I did the last time. Twist it. Okay. Now, by bringing it to the center, it gives you that nice, so that it's a little longer on the edges, which is kind of good. All right. laying on top of there. Now let's say hypothetically I cut this too short. Well, I have the hair underneath as a guide. So I can cut into that and break it up just a little bit. And that will hide if you made a mistake. And as you can see, I'm So, this blank is perfect for me. And so, I really hope, and this is, this tutorial is to help you in this time, but it by no means is a replacement for what we can do in the salon. So we're just gonna go with like a very basic bang and how to cut it so that it's not in your eyes driving you crazy. Don't use one of these. Please, for the love of God. These are not designed to cut hair. So they're going to, um, they're going to damage your hair while you're cutting. So do me a favor and don't use these. 
Stay tuned for the next video where I compare two flat irons. One is the Babyliss Pro Nano and the other is the Babyliss Prima 3000. So you better check that video out because it's going to be chock full of information. But um, if you found this video to be helpful, please message me. I would love to hear from you. I really miss you guys and I just hope that you're all healthy and well and I thank you for spending this time with me and I hope to see you soon, all right? Bye.